Hello friends and welcome to tonight's reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wore my pajamas that I'll be wearing all month long. Hopefully you have your pajamas on and you're ready to snuggle up for tonight's reading. We're going to be reading Pete the Cat's Train Trip and we're also going to be reading How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight? So let's start with How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight? Let's see how dinosaurs say goodnight. And remember, the author of the book writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. How does a dinosaur say goodnight when Papa comes in to turn off the light? Does a dinosaur slam his tail and pout? Does he throw his teddy bear all about? Does a dinosaur stomp his feet on the floor and shout, I want to hear one book more? Does a dinosaur roar? How does a dinosaur say goodnight when mama comes in to turn off the light? Does he swing his neck from side to side? Does he up and demand a piggyback ride? Does he mope, does he moan, does he sulk, does he sigh? Does he fall on the top of his covers and cry? No, dinosaurs don't. They don't even try. They give a big kiss. They turn out the lights. They tuck in their tails. They whisper, good night. They give a big hug, then give one kiss more. Good night, good night, little dinosaur. The end. How do dinosaurs say good night? Does a dinosaur say good night something like how you say good night? Oh, that's interesting. Well, let's read our next book, which is Pete the Cat's Train Trip. Hmm, I wonder what this is going to be about. Pete the Cat is going to visit his grandma. He gets to ride on a train. Pete's mom buys three tickets. She gives one to Pete and one to his brother, Bob. Pete looks up at the big board. Our train is leaving at 10 o'clock, he says. A train speeds by. That's a cargo train, Bob tells Pete. Pete's train has arrived. All aboard, calls the conductor. Pete's mom finds three seats. I can't wait to see Grandma says Bob. I can't wait to explore the train, says Pete. The conductor comes to collect the tickets. Pete hands over his. I love trains, says Pete. I'll show you around, says the conductor. Pete follows the conductor from car to car as the floor rumbles under his feet. Wow, Pete says when they get to the caboose. We're going over a bridge. Pete sees his mom and Bob. They are at the snack bar. I got this for you, says Bob. Pete follows the conductor. He goes to the front of the train. Come in, says the engineer. Wow, Pete says. The engineer shows him the engine. The engineer shows Pete the train's brakes. There is a tunnel up ahead. As they go through the tunnel, Pete gets to honk the horn. Toot, toot. Everything is light again. Thanks for showing me around, Pete says. On his way back to his seat, Pete stops and makes new friends. They live in different towns. They are getting off at different stops. 
Pete plays games. A little kid wears his hat. Pete sings a song. What a groovy ride. We get off at the next stop, says Pete's mom. Toot toot. Pete looks out the window and sees, what do you think he sees? <gasps> grandma. Pete is the first one off the train. Pete's grandma gives him a big hug. It feels good. Pete loves riding the train, but he loves his grandma even more. The end. Oh, Pete, how cool. Any of you out there love your grandma so much? Yeah, grandmas are the best. Grandmas or nanas or mimis, whatever you call your grandma. Pete the Catch train trip. And How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight were our two books today. Thank you for coming to our reading tonight. I hope you enjoyed. And I can't wait to see you next time. So get ready to snuggle up and get ready for bed. And I'll see you next time.